Fantasy Island. Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy Island. We just walked out of Fantasy Island. And it was really bad. It was pretty bad, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Apologies for the sound. There's a, a Jewish film festival, they said? Yeah. A film festival going and on. people campaigning for voters. And people campaigning for voters. We're in the heart of San Diego. <laughs> Claremont. <laughs> Claremont. Um, God, that was, that was really terrible. I think I'm good on a movie like that for another, like, five to ten years. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It was the kind of bad that I haven't seen in a while. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. God, people like Jordan Peele really put that to sleep. Yeah. And, like, I remember, like, at some point I just realized, I was like, man, Cabin in the Woods was such a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, all these, like, fantasies were coming together. And, um, anyway, uh, initial thing is, like, I don't know, like a two or three. Two or three? Yeah, two or three. Two or three. Well, we gave Underwater a 3.5, and yeah. Underwater was better it than was this. It was definitely better than this. And I was just thinking we gave, uh, what was the movie? Weathering With You, like, a 5 or 6. Weathering yeah. With You was a lot better. A lot than better this. than that. Maybe At least that was, like, a, yeah, yeah, it was a lot so better than this. Yeah, like, a 2. Okay, and we'll do spoilers from here on out. Yeah. Um... I don't even know where to start. Yeah, it's just it's just not a good movie. And I said to you early on, I was like, yeah, you don't need to write good characters to work in Hollywood. I know the characters were. so They just bad. started out really bad. The exposition was so. Exposition terrible. was terrible. They just said everything. I don't know. It's weird to even review a movie like this because I know that they didn't care when making it. Like yeah. they weren't trying hard. No. Nobody was like trying and missing. They knew exactly how bad what they were making was making. Uh huh. But it just doesn't matter. They just made it anyway. The characters were really boring. Mhm. Um. So they had like everybody had their own fantasies coming in. All of them were uninteresting and like. <sighs> Like the point, the parts like the two like, funny guys that were like doing like the they obviously were funny so parts bad. never that made the me worst laugh once. I've seen in a long time for those kind of characters. Like, oh, least... it's funny because they high five or whatever. Yeah, sometimes like those characters will will be really bad, but they'll have like something good about them. There yeah, just was not a single. There's not a single thing. Funny, good thing about them. And they weren't like the most like none of the characters were like the most unlikable things in the world. You know, it wasn't like yeah. this is. It was just. It was just so flat and boring. Really like, flat. this isn't like bad enough to really like hate on it. Um, but it was bad enough to not be n- noticeable or mentionable to people later. Like, this movie is just gonna get tossed right out of my head pretty quickly. The actor that played JD was was pretty bad. Which one was JD? The white guy. That's the pair of them. He was Dude, they were of, all he bad. Was, he was on another level for me. Where what I was just, the, like, oh he would move, and it was unbelievable. Yeah, oh At least, my like, God. Lucy Hale, like, did what she needed to do. Like, yeah. That guy was really bad, though. The part at the end where the guy, like, <laughs> blocked him. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. That was really funny. That will be... That, that should go... If we do, like, an awards thing at the end of the year, <laughs> that guy should be on it. Blocking him. Best so guard. Best, gu- <laughs> best guard. He gets best guard of the year. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> and yeah, it was so they were just pretending they were just playing pretend yeah dude when the dad got shot and flew back i laughed so goddamn hard we laughed a lot at this movie there was a lot of so stupid when he jumped on the grenade it was so funny it was really <laughs> so I, it was, absurd. I felt bad because the sound cut out and i was the only one laughing <laughs> oh i know we're such bullies i wonder if anyone enjoyed that movie at all dude i don't we were laughing that was at crazy it everybody was like over the age of 60 like I they don't they must not find it this is like bad teen horror no, two people walked out at the beginning yeah that's right but that's because there was somebody snoring at the <laughs> yeah, beginning of the movie yeah. like, like really, for the first I thought 20 it was minutes in the sound because it was so loud <laughs> dude <laughs> and then, yeah and he sat really by himself at the front like yeah. this was just where he oh, went to, to nap, nap <laughs> that day <laughs> yeah it didn't even look like because he fell asleep like, like the first five nap. minutes like yeah. he just went so loud. It was while they were introducing one of the characters, he was just snoring. And, and then the like, two That's people. That's a weird in, thing to include. Right the two now. people in front of us just walked out. Yeah. They're over it. Yeah, I don't blame them. Um. Yeah. Is I there think if there's anything interesting. Okay. Yeah. A little bit with like structure. Um. So. Uh, right before the third act, when they came together and they had set out. 
and they had set out on their next plan and they had like a new plan together like they all branched off in the second act and then they came back right before the third act but remember right then they revealed a ton of information yes that was still a little misleading uh-huh. they thought they weren't quite sure of the ending you know yeah. but they but they they were a good step further they figured which out is actually where were... where we are in our horror movie that we're writing remember that's like after the events that happened at the trailer mm-hmm. and like all that stuff is found out so it was interesting to see that structure played out again. Um, it, okay, there were four there were four fantasy stories, right? So there's four parallel stories. Mm-hmm. This is something that even in Rogue One, when I went back and watched Rogue One, I noticed like four stories is like max. Yeah, that is a it's ton. A to it's so weird because you would think like that's not that long, but by the time that because they would go from one story to the next, yeah. by the time they would come back to the first story or whenever you moved on to the next one, I felt like I hadn't been there in a long time. Yeah, there and was... I almost forgotten about it. Like all it takes is like three scenes to forget where you were, like fourth scene before, and this was. Yeah. I kind of feel like I learned a little bit from seeing that ha- play out in front of yeah. me. Yeah, I mean, it allowed them to do like kind of ridiculous time jumps for some of the other stories. Yeah, it did. Which I guess was fine. Like the girls that were hiking, they we cut from them at night when they started walking, and the next day they'd gotten to that place. And then later and on in the movie, they just got there instantly. Yeah, that was so stupid. But, <laughs> um, but then if they say when we got to them in the morning, they're like, oh, we've been walking all night. Yeah. Yeah. So we're like, that movie sucks, and the exposition is terrible. Yeah. At least we can like learn a little, like learn a little bit about how they were passing time in that way. Yeah. 1917 even got away with it, mm-hmm. you know? And that was literally a one-take movie. Yeah. And somehow they passed time without us knowing, like... They did the one where he was knocked out, and I guess we shouldn't talk too much about 1917. <laughs> but there were other things where, like, it's like, no, no, this has been a full day. Yeah. How did... How quite did we get like, here without... He was in the without... car, too. I feel like he was supposed to be in the car for kind in of a car for a long time. time. by the time he got to the next spot, it was, like, nightfall, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the way movies pass time, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Cutting well, they, from different stories was really helpful they, for this one. But yeah, it's nice to see, like, it. just how much damn freedom they had doing it. It could kind of just... To show it, you what you needed. It's really interesting to see, like, once your brain is, like, three scenes in, that fourth scene is so far away. Uh-huh. Like, when we would, every time we came back to the uh, other person's story, I was like, fuck, this person's yeah. even in this movie? Yeah. <laughs> you know? It was so and if, weird. If they were labeled, like, A through D, there were some times that they did, like, A, B, C, D, and then they would do, like, C, D, B, A. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, That'd like, be interesting to see exactly which ones, yeah, like, when, if they really fell out of it. Like, I remember they went, like, to military guy, to, like, uh, fiance, white mom back to military guy back to fiance mom and i was like i don't even know what's happening with the two guys or the two yeah girls yeah i remember that happening a few times me being yeah. like they didn't go to story three and four yet. No, yeah yeah <laughs> um so this is considered yeah. ensemble right yeah i mean it, uh, that's interesting i mean i felt like tomb raider girl was the main character was kind of the protagonist for a lot of it she had like the most in-depth thing going on and yeah. we focused on her the most and then she was the one that went back in time and found the secret yeah. you know like she was kind she of a leader she became kind of a leader and but she was then, the most likable then like opinion. the villain it was kind of about her in a way yeah or it was just kind of a twist that she was the villain the whole time but it kind of made it about her when and that happened but then the ending kind of made it about the exactly. Asian guy of oh. the yeah well, no, no, it didn't make it about him, but he had a big, the big ending choice. Yeah. The last choice that Tomb Raider Girl made was a while before, and she's, just like, no longer making choices and yeah, influencing the story. Yeah, she influenced the guy that was holding on to his wife. She did. Oh, yeah, and she's she the one that, that... Yeah, she was the protagonist. Yeah, I think so, too. In a sense, but even then, like, it kind of ended with the choices of Fantasy Island Guy. Yeah. You know, the last big choice was of the... I think this is a really good example of Ensemble. Yeah. To see what you can... I don't know what you can Where get away you with. you can wrap up each story. Yeah. It's not super important that we end with, and that, like, Tomb Raider Girl being, yeah. like, looking at the window and thinking about the choices that she's made. What, what made the story bad had nothing to do with, like, how much we focused on Tomb Raider Girl early or at yeah. the end. Mm-hmm. Like, this movie would have, like, the whole, you have to have a clear-cut protagonist, that is not, like, I don't know what's mm-hmm. going on in this film, good or bad. Like, you didn't really need that. This movie could have been good as as ensemble as it was. Yeah. And we're we're writing ensemble right now. That's why I'm bringing it up. 
Yeah. Honestly, like, I think the movie could have been decent. Like, I kind of liked the idea of, like, all of them being related to each other and like that kind of like when that started happening i was like okay this is kind of fun. yeah this yeah 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 it, it got more in, but i i knew i was like in some way they have to come back together and they they just came back together in a really like story story filled way as well yeah. which was cool yeah that what, was kind of how i wish i mean it has to be the uh, the kind of like crazy psycho ex-girlfriend type character is just kind of a boring villain it was a really boring villain and i wish even the the guy said like gosh you went on one date with him and that was the moment where we're supposed to be like oh the it's this it's the psycho girlfriend like that's the villain and it's just that's so boring it's really it's been done before and it's not interesting which is weird because lucy hills is is like cool i don't know she could have been yeah she she was super annoying from the beginning but it was was. nothing to do with the actress i'm sure she's great yeah but all that writing was awful awful yeah and that i mean it it could have been a good movie but when you have like the two guys high-fiving and like that's supposed to be fun and lucy hill making fun of them like Mm -hmm. it's just it's not interesting or fun or anything so it was really teaching me too like how boring it is to just come up with like story 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 and just have your characters constantly figure it out and then understand it together and like <laughs> have like have your bad exposition to describe it like yeah. so much of this movie was saying wait so he did it and then the other person comes in actually with and they just like they're just <laughs> describing what's going on yeah. instead of people actually like really going through something yeah so they made the story like uh, this ensemble story had so many factors per person and they just spent all the time is exposing uh, what each one was Mm -hmm. like bringing up each fact about in each person's story and Mm -hmm. that took up like the whole movie yeah that kind of was just that that was the movie and it's it'd be so much more interesting i don't know i feel like there's a lot of things we could guess about people by just the way they act Mm -hmm. that happened early on and i wish i had the specific examples in my head but i was like she didn't i remember it was tomb raider girl i think i was like she doesn't need to say all these things we'll get that oh, from a look when she was like i don't deserve it or something like that like she said that a lot and i was like okay i don't know yeah all, all the all those things yeah. like we, we get people really on the nose we don't need we don't need all that on the nose exposition yeah um i'm not sure there's much else to say about it. the filmmaking was really boring too like the cinematography yeah I, that's why i laughed like and they broke the table and they had a camera under the table. Uh, yeah. Just because, like, I don't know. Dude, that was really fucking noticeable. jet ski scene. That was that hilarious. Was <laughs> I remember you being like, was that in the script? Like, <laughs> like jet, jet ski goes ski nuts. <laughs> yeah. For, like, I don't know. That was, like, a good... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was crazy. <laughs> um, oh, I, don't, I don't know how this one gets so much funding, attention. Yeah. I don't know why this is, like, in every theater right now. Mm-mm. I don't know how they choose. But I don't know. It's it's bad from page one. It really is. And like, <sighs> uh, there was yeah. that, that part too at the end when um, he's talking to his wife. Like, I think that's an example of like, <laughs> just the way that the scenes and like, the way that the. What's the word? Like, the geography of the scenes didn't really make sense for what they were trying to do. Like, he left them in the room with Lucy Hale, who was going to kill them. He went and just had a conversation with his wife around the corner and was like, no, I'm going to help yeah, him. And yeah. just, like, came back. <laughs> and, like, that's so, like, undramatic, uncinematic. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I know. What those happened are the, during that time he was gone? Those are the things I write, like, and I go, fuck, I'm so bad at this. And yeah. then, like, I figure out how to fix it way later. Yeah. But, like, that's how you start is being like, I know I want something to happen, so you write this. But then that has to be fixed by at some point. Yeah, and they just didn't Yeah, because I, I remember when he when he walked back in, I thought the same thing. Yeah. Like, this is just so stupid. He was just around the corner. <laughs> what the fuck? And why was his wife there? Because she wasn't real? She could just teleport anywhere? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. It stopped. It's not recording. Are you sure? There's a red light. Oh, that's your speaker. Yeah. It disconnected. Oh, it's still recording. Oh, okay. Should we just finish real quick? Yeah, it's still recording. Okay. It just got disconnected. Okay, quick final thoughts. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a cheesy, you, oh, you know, bad horror film. It's mm -hmm. not believable. Was it horror? Yeah. It's yeah yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It's not. God, all that beginning of them like explaining stuff and walking around and the music's just like. It was really really silly. Exposition's bad. Characters are bad. Um, and honestly, even if you're gonna make this bad movie, like, they didn't even have it make sense. Like, when she drank the water and got grabbed by the guy, that didn't make sense. That wasn't a thing in the rest of the movie. Oh, I guess she, yeah, they had all drank in the water, but... What, how was her fantasy... What? What is it? What? I didn't get it. <laughs> she threw, I thought the whole point the was, like, you don't so really funny. get to choose your fantasy. It, like, chooses you. I don't know, I don't man. Know. She chose it at the end. I don't know. To kill her. <laughs> that was her yeah. fantasy. And any movie could be good. Any idea could be good yeah. if you made it good. Yeah. And this there was, was just something about the cheesiness that felt very like nineties to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Early two thousands. Early two thousands. Yeah. Don't, like it was just a kind of vibe that feels kind of like a relic. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I can't pinpoint like what moments it was. But something about it was just a really kind of old fashioned. <laughs> yeah, it was like, um. It's that old Club Dread and like Scooby Doo. These fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scooby Doo was like a Scooby Doo of that genre. Like, it had yeah. already been around a lot. Yeah. I can't remember so what Scooby came Doo out before good, Club like Dread, but they're like it. these teen horrors where like they go out and I think too, because it was like kind of an original. Well, I think Fantasy Island is a thing from the past, but like the fact that oh. it was it felt kind of like an original story too like I feel like there was like a whole phase in the 90s of people like making kind of original cheesy team oh. like stories that were supposed to be like super twisty and mm -hmm. have all these revelations but were just really cheesy and bad and that's what yeah. it reminded me of I would have been more interested in this movie of just having five random people deal with the situation and it not be so psychologically involved. Like, because that just made it so forced. They had to just, yeah. their dialogue had to be like, oh, but then I hated him for this and then this happened. And just, that's what they were doing the whole movie was just talking about themselves out loud and it didn't make any sense that it would be more horror-ish to just throw five people into a situation and like, have them try to survive yeah. that's like mad max fury road i know i always come back to that when like they didn't explain the world you just like dealt you were just there you yeah. dealt with it yeah. you picked up what you could from it but it wasn't just yeah. constantly were, like we didn't get any lore about like how no. things have gotten there and i know mad max is also... it's been like this my whole life yeah just shut up <laughs> yeah no. you know, and mad max had so much more to it yeah you uh, don't need any of context for this it. was just so I don't know. And the writers just did whatever they wanted at every turn. There was just... Like, when he escaped from the water... Yeah, I don't know um, why he escaped from I was just like, yeah, of course, because you wrote it. Like, yeah. it doesn't... Oh, when you want to, hands come up and grab him. And then when you want to, the hands Get let that. go. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. <laughs> so yeah. th those things really suck. Like, there's no actual consequences. Like, the writers are just going to write what happens next. And, yeah. And that was the same know. problem in uh, Underwater, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was... This makes me like movies like like the Halloween last one, Halloween year, last Scary year. Scary stories to tell. It's just like it makes me like those more because at least it had like creature design, you know. Yeah, at least it was kind of creative. Yeah, it had not. some things. I shouldn't I shouldn't speak too highly of it because I remember really hating it. Yeah. I just remember like walking there out with some something, yeah. and this one this thing just gave you like nothing. nothing. I don't know. I laughed a few times. Military yeah. guy, I thought was funny. <laughs> How was this happening? How are you, my son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty silly. All right, we're at 20. I can't believe we even found 20 minutes to talk about this movie. I know. I'm sorry if this is boring. Hopefully we had something good to say. Nobody watches anyway. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, that was a two for me. Yeah. Let's give it a two. Yeah, because one, a one would be worse. A one would be worse. And a three would probably be better. I know. I'd give it a two. I think it's a two. That's uh, Fantasy Island. Thank you for We're gonna watching. head out. We're going. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.